Previously on Nino Kuni 2, Revenant Kingdom. Hi, Joe. Spot delivery work in exchange for a nice call ring. Doesn't sound too bad at all. Let's get moving, Ollie. Or Evan. <laughs> Who's Ollie? Nobody. Just, just shut up. Just, just, just do the quest. And now back to. Holy shit, Rowan's got a gun. <laughs> Queen Neria w wants to meet us. Yes. She does. Although why she would do s wish to do so is beyond me. I have no time for this nonsense. For I am Vic Tagami! Huh. Sounds like we're about to have an audience with Queen Nerea herself. Could a better chance to convince her to sign the declaration than this, Evan. <gasps> oh, I'm already wonder palace. That's beautiful. What's it doing down by here? Actually, I wonder, did I get that? Did I get that outfit for uh No. <laughs> It'd be funny if I had those outfits to equip on them. Flip it out. Of course, the swankiest throne room I've ever seen. Do you think we'll have something like this in Evermore one day, Evan? You know, when you and I married. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, being thrown to sails back there was quite the trip down memory lane. Used to be what ye might call an occupational hazard for these sky pirates back in our wild days. But times change. <laughs> That's right, we used to have the sky pirates in the last game, too. No. There is no need to, to go into tireless explanation, tiresome explanations. All has been shown to me. You wish to sign the, me to sign this treaty of yours, correct? If I may be so bold. We, we cannot, your majesty. To enter into a union will be... I must advise against it. Hm. Silence, Leander. Uh, yes, your majesty. I have but one condition. Uh, of course. And what might that be? Beneath the sea, not far from here, there is a labyrinth. Deep within it dwells a great sea monster, Cetus. Defeat the monster and return here on hon hon Do so and I will sign your treaty. Okay, no problem. <laughs> but... Really? Yes. Really. Leander will accompany you. Uh, of course. I... Uh, of course, your majesty. Her majesty's word is law. I will accompany you to the labyrinth as she wishes. You will see that the beast is destroyed. Forgive me. Ah, but you must forgive me. I will not properly introduce myself. I'm Leander Arist Aristides, Arkin of Hadropolis. Mm. It's very nice to meet you, Arkin Leander. So where exactly is this labyrinth? It lies in the sea southeast of Hydropolis. Ah, we best be on our way. Let's give, set sail and give this Cetus a drubbing, shall we, be hearties? Oh, okay. Oh, to the temporarily joins the party. Okay. Oh, so I actually might get some more party members then. I don't know if he's going to stick around or not, but... Oh, my God. So cute. Pretty in pink. Get a load of my dress. I, I look a million guilders, right? So it's taken just before Evan proposed to me. Well, sort of. Anyway, it really suits me, don't you think? <laughs> Propose, you say? <laughs> Bodley! Bodley must say more about this, yes! <laughs> Lee. Tony, are you serious? Evan proposed to you? No, not really. You're just messing around. You don't think I'd marry Evan, do you? Oh, I see. I was so I was so excited. <laughs> uh, <laughs> proposal in public. Who would dare to propose in Hydropolis? Uh, who? Hydropolis? Do they know how the law of use love? We're described in reckless to be sure, yet I cannot forget it. Such a romantic scene. Why must we be nice as lights? Truly, do not understand the laws. Fuck Queen Lyria. She's a bitch. I hope she dies. So what level is uh, Leander here? Oh, level 33. Nice. So what do you wield? Oh, you have spear. Oh, whoa, look at that. It's like hovering in the freaking air. He does it with his mind. Oh, and he has a wand as well. Whoa, seriously, that's wild looking. I lost my Vi connection. Got a twinkly tunic. What kind of skills does he have? Wing spear. A spear, fly, spinning spear knocks nearby foes flying before returning like a boomerang. The mind of Mag the Magnus. The user's innate magical abilities are given an impressive temporary boost. Oh, nice. Uh, Gorgon's Needle. A magic spike appears from below the target, effective against flying foes. Water Balloon. Okay, so he's got regular skills, Spark Spike, and Stone Slinger. So he's got quite a number of skills, of like magic skills. Whips of pure blackness appear and last the enemy repeatedly sundown. In that case, I'm going to switch out Tani with him. I am Leander Tagami. Oh, I am going to actually be going to the, the, the land of the dead area, I believe. Before I do that, let's go ahead and have a look at the uh, 
do that's over here. All right, switch over to Leander. Two arms. Two arms. Boo! Oh, well, that was wild. Oh yeah! Oh, he's moving the spear with his fucking brain. Boo! Oh, wit. Whoop it good. Your judgment is nigh. Uh, your judgment is nigh. Oh, that was cool. Whoa. Oh yes, power. Oh, that was wild when he when he dodges. He te like teleports. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, what level are you? Level 37. Uh, maybe. Let me switch to Evan for this though, just cause I know him a little bit better than Leander. Yeah, let's give it a try. Watch your back. Uh oh. Ah! Ow! Oh my God! Fuck! Boom! Eat shit, bitch! Ah! Fuck! Why? It's so painful. Okay. Don't like this bitch, my can. Ah! Stun lock. Ah! 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 Come on, die! Ah! Gotcha! Everybody, level up! Giant's bow. Spell power sweller. Ooh, nice. Increases the amount of MP restored. Oh, nice. Yes, please. I've got that uh, bow, which is fucking awesome. Huge damage boost when HP is low. High chance of confusing enemies. Nice. All right, try this one. Dark Lance. Your judgment is nigh! Your judgment is nigh! Damn, he's powerful. Got some stuff over here. Like a little temple or something. Shrine of Pining. Siren Salad! Mmm! I see a save point. Oh, hello! Demon Slime! How powerful is this one? Level 33. Okay. Let me go heal myself real quick. Oh, we got a dreamer's door here too. Well, that case, let's do the dreamer's door first. Should be a little bit easier now, actually. Now that, oh yeah, my, oh detector section on, detection section off. Oh, I see. Okay, points in the direction of where each thing is. I see. Okay, because there isn't a map in here. That's right. Points where the statue is. Okay. But now my danger level is going to go up much more slowly, so don't worry too much about that, at least. Oh, interesting. The further I get away from it, though, the, the, the weaker the sensor gets. So, yeah. Now I can't even see the doors or anything. Oh, boy. Wildfire Wyvern. Wait, so this area is a slow-filling danger gauge. Is that something that's already a part of this area, or is that actually, like, indicative of each sector? Because sometimes it seems like... Certain areas will have special conditions. Or is that just from my upgrades? I, I think it actually might be something special in this area. So it's like that on top of what I already have. So get even more off. I wonder, can I use my, uh... Ah, I can't use my spring lock to open these chests, though. Damn. Got Haley in here. Ice prism. Thank you. I've run into them before off screen and they... You tend to give you just either, like, orbs or random items. Another treasure chest. Blunt Roaring Sword. I think it's one of the ones from... They were selling in town, so probably not as strong as what I've got. Nope. Yeah, slow... Well, it still says slow filling danger gauge, so maybe it's maybe it's a permanent thing. For this area. That's like, that's something that just adds there. Oh, it's you Hi. again. I gonna say, it's a matter... What, what amount is I selling to ask you? Situation and give it a chance. Exactly equal chance of something awful happening. Of course I would. Let's try what, see what happens. Wow. Best of firm sense of resolution. You can witness the result of this with your own eyes. Choice you've made will shape the road ahead. That being so, you must not regret it. 
Danger gauge boosted by 60. Ah, oh, This is not worth it, right? Just not fucking worth it. So it could give me something good or it could give me some bad. That's kind of what I figured. Oh, yep. Okay, so I still get different ones. So you see, got the floor of respite here. Okay, now I'm not getting any special features. So I guess it was just, it just happened to be a coincidence that I was getting ones that reduced my danger level. I will say having this indicator tell me where stuff is really is useful though. You know, I actually wonder, for my tactics tweaker, having this guy added, does that? Oh, it did add a whole bunch of battle points to this thing. I feel like this one in particular is just good to have leveled up, right? Because there's, there's no downside to it. I, one thing I was sort of unaware of, and I, I think initially when I first saw this, I thought that uh, when you took one, like if I go this side, it makes my makes me strong against the natural uh, opponents, but not the reptilians and so on. Like it actually makes it makes the reptilians harder to kill. But I don't think that's the case. I think it's just just you're you're stronger against the beautiful enemies, and the reptilians are still the same. So there's really no reason not to have this on one enemy that you're really strong against, right? I I, I believe. Um, this one's a little different because you are kind of sacrificing one for the other. I I think I get well, sort of. I guess there's no, yeah. I guess this is kind of the same way though. I get you're just choosing between whether you want to boost for one or the other, but you can't have both. But that, at the same time, there's no reason to also have it, not have it on. So, yeah. But this one, I think, is the, the most important one. Because it has so many uh, really good ones here. Okay, some of them actually aren't that great. But, like, honestly, I think that the heavy attacks and the invincibility frames are probably the most important here. Oh, wow. It's been tw 20 again. Yes. Uh, all right. All right. Let's do the increased damage with heavy attacks. All right. Foul floor. Oh my god, it's a big old different colored mandrake. Or whatever it was called. I think that's what it was. Come on, bitch. Here goes nothing. Brilliant core. Uh. Oh wow. Those heavy attacks are really doing a lot of damage now. Boom. Burn. Uh-oh. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Ah! There we are. Whew. Tan yellow dream fragment. All right, three down. An ill-omened ogre's bow. Curses, sl curse slightly reduces damage dealt. Bleed all the floors of the shrine of pining maze. All right, now let's go kill that uh, uh, that bounty that's over here. Puddly, you about to die today, Puddly? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, gotcha. Iceberg Blaster. New gun for daddy rolling, baby. Drenched Iceberg Blaster. Fuck yeah. Greatly increases water damage. Abuse weapon with water. Oh my god, even more power, yes. Can't get me enough goddamn power! Let's try that spell move that uh, Roland's here. Absorb. Fire! Oh, oh it makes a big shockwave come out, I see. Yeah, that's cool. God, all these, air these attacks, skills. Massive hit range. I love it. Oh, I see a cave up above us. I can't get to yet, though. I don't imagine I can get to it. I got a little path here. Com Companius is crypt? Is that what that was called? Oh, we got a ghost in here. All right, what we got? I've seen the horn roll with my very own eyes. It was 2,000 years ago. His size was beyond imagining. He has a great shadow over all of Nazca, and he sent forth a wave of pure energy that rent the sea in two. After that, I remember nothing. Ooh. That's referring to uh, the Cobra's... Uh, Heat maker, is that right? That's the horned one. Oh, here's the uh, the mushroom that that uh, lady was looking for. The cutesy pops, sickly sweet mushrooms that look cute but are too cloying to enjoy. Yes. All right. Now I can finally complete that uh, lady's quiz. Huh? Doesn't seem to be anything at the end of the cave here, though. There's nothing less. Nothing I see. Unless there's a quest involved with this one, which I suppose is possible. Ooh, a rhino pineapple. Mmm. Oh. Actually, I have a. So the stairs here, yeah, there we go. Although, I don't think I can go any further than that. 
Soldier Spear. I... I'm wondering if there's an ability later on, if, if I don't get the ability to fly or something, at least the ability to jump higher. It seems like there's spots that, look, look, I just, all I need to do is hop up here and then I have another staircase that goes up. But I imagine if it's anything like the last game, I will get like a dragon or an airship or something to, to fly up in the sky. Oh, I can hop down here too. I got a blue chest. A pair of multi-proof roguish boots. Oh wow, holy shit. Slight boosts all elemental resistance and plenty less damage taken at low HP. Nice. That's what I like to see. Okay, God, we got a lot of stuff on this little island here. Coral cave. That was a tiny one. Uh, Nothing in here either? Nope. Must be, I'm just, I'm just assuming it's a side quest then. Oh, I see, I see. I got another pair of cursed, uh, cursed sea breeze sandals. A curse greatly increases damage taken. Meaning, if I equip these, it's gonna it's gonna hurt me because they're cursed. So finally, I, okay, these are cursed items. I need to decurse at my uh, back in Evermore. I see. All right, I think I've gotten as much as I can out here. All right, now I can go to the land of the dead here. Golly. Where all the dead people go? This is where Set Set Cetus lives. The haunt of the la labyrinth is guarded by a great number of spirit troops. We are to make our way there. I'm it must be with an army. Oh, okay. Uh, recommend a level 12. Okay, I think I should be all right with this. Eh, ah, dead place, dead, sicker place. Fucking die. Hmm. It's supposed to be souls who fell out to the victim and see, see us over the years. I'm gonna find peace. They roam the no. land being assholes. It's high time they were put to rest. Come on, send them to the beyond. Oh, I'm just gonna grab that uh, trip door that was over here. Oh, well. Okay, uh. Okay, I need a hammers for you guys. Follow my lead. Follow my lead. That's right. Get out of my blooming way. You ain't got shit, boy. Hiya! Uh oh, different one. Forgive me. We find peace, brave souls. You gather second demons. Die, you must demon die. Never let my prey escape. Oh my God, it's a big worm in the ground. Oh fuck. Oh fuck me. All right. Oh no, Tobias died. That's. Fucking not good. There we are. See, we open it last. It must move it further now. I should wait for Tobias to come back. I like how Evan's got a sword, but he's not actually really fighting at all. He's just kind of telling everybody what to do. Tobias, come back or not? It's halfway there. It's based on moving or, or maybe it's based on enemy en enemies I kill. Okay, it doesn't seem to come back, so maybe that is it. This is unstoppable, invincible, theme is unthinkable. Mm. Whatever, I'm level 30 something. We're going to do this, so please, you have to let us through. Get out of my blooming way! Yeah. Oh my god, that stupid worm asshole kicks my ass. Oh good, okay, he's back. Ah, uh, die! It seems like there are classes that aren't really like... Uh, oh, you guys are stuck, what are you doing? Uh, they aren't really included in the main three, right? Uh, okay, uh, blue. Switch. No, don't fight them, fight the other ones, you idiots. Fight the ones you're weak against. Hey, watch out, here he's coming. Uh, Okay, uh, hammers. There we go. Up here be the last of them. Yay! Of course. Come on, let's get this over with. Oh, I have to use the army to kill Cestus too? Blimey. Well, I made this far at least. Uh huh. But the real fight starts here. Yes. I'm afraid it does. Tread carefully now, Your Majesty. Oh no, Hooray! okay, here we go. I thought so. Fight that regularly. Yeah, I kinda like the 
the characters have the boosts, like the boost in defense and boost in attack. I don't know, they just feel more effective. What level are they now? Uh, 14 and 13. All right, now we're getting strong. Rose, come on, let's get on. Chomp his stuff and blah, 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 blah. Seat of the Sea Beast. The Sea Beast. Oh, this is just a big area. Yep, just a big area to fight this fucker in. All right, time to slay this motherfucker. Get up to here with this guy, even though I've never met him before. Seat of the Sea Beast. So, where exactly is this Cetus? Well, fearsome though he may be, Cetus is no threat to Andropolis. So why r risk all our lives on such an errand? There must be an important reason for the Queen to have sent you, Leander. You want us all to fucking die? Yes, I suppose there must. There must. Hey, which means she is expecting us all to get fucking killed. Well, you don't think she would send Leander then? Although I think he kind of—he's the one to kind of decide to come here, right? See, it's the terror of the tides. Oh, ew, you got a big old gross tongue. Hey, ew. Golly. golly, gee, it's him. Yeah. No, club for him. Right, decoration side, him, the bigger, blah 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 blah. <laughs> I said something. I don't know. Boom. The tornado of fire. On you. Oh my god, give me that golden glim of fucking power. Come here. Oh, you fucking shit. Get out of me. Hi. Where is he? Okay, gotta get over him. Gotta get over to him. Uh. 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 Yes, power. I don't know what this dead guys were talking about. This is easy. <laughs> Where'd he go? Uh, what are you doing? Stop it! He's got hardly any HP left. Motherfucker. Ah ha! Fuck it! Get out of my way, dead! Ah, I'm not done beating on you though. Ah, ah. You dropped some booty too. Make sure to pick that up. The creature is defeated. Which means we can get Hydropolis to sign the declaration now, right? Assuming the queen is as good as her word, yes. Oh! Oh, by the way, when we defeated Cetus, it dropped this. Do you know what it is? Uh. The ocean's ether. Mm -hmm. The ocean's ether. So this is what Her Majesty meant for us to retrieve. Could she really intend to... become a god? Is everything all right, Leander? Yes. Yes, very much so. Let's return to the palace. Some silk-proof enchanted armor. Ooh, nice. That's funky, I don't know what these things are supposed to be. How long has that little piece of stone been staying up there like that? Ooh! Ice cream cornucopia. Mmm. We passed by all these treasure chests on our way up here. Oops, strong six sensor. And I see a blue chest over here. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, Higgly Help pendant. Oh, okay. That was the spell thing again. They both have the same look about them. Higgly Balls heal MP a little. Huh, okay, that's pretty good, I guess. Just don't really know what Higgly Balls are. All right, get that trip door. Mississippi's Labyrinth. <sighs> Arkin Leander, thank goodness you have returned. Her Majesty has disappeared. We are searching the palace and the town from top to bottom, but to no avail. <gasps> Impossible! How can this be? Yes. There's been word from the scout ships, my lord. The vortex blocking the entrance to the abyss has dissipated. Uh oh. What? The, the abyss? But. What is it? But what? The abyss is where our king's cradle is located. Where Brian's Keeper, our Kingmaker, dwells. The Vortex was placed before its entrance by the Queen herself. It remains there by her strict command. And only she could have removed it. 
So she's gone to the abyss for some reason. It would seem so. But for what? What reason could she possibly have for making the perilous journey to the King's Cradle? Mm. I don't like the sound of this. Could be the could it be Doloron's doing? Yeah. I have a horrible feeling it might be. We better get after her. We'll talk more on our ship, Leander. Should stand after the abyss right away. You have my thanks. Thank you, all of you. Let's go save my crazy bitch of a queen. But first, new leaf book posts. Uh, what, what's going on? Just heard a triple racket and saw the pal scars running around panic. I'm sure that they, they said something about Queen Naria. Is she all right? What in the world's going on? She's fucking dead. Follow the queen. What the hell? What did she do? Uh. Oh, I see. The abyss. Am I scuba diving? Oh, this is cool. This kind of reminds me of that area in uh, Dream Drop Distance. It was kind of similar. It looked like you were underwater. Oh, my! Look! You can see under the, the sea through the, these windows. Say. Are they using surface tension to keep the water at bay or something? That's a pretty neat trick. The King's Cradle is on the seabed. If this Doloron really is involved as you suspect, we must journey there with all haste. Into the bottom of the sea, eh? Talk about weird. Under the sea, under the sea. La, la, la. Fifty fathoms deep trip door. Oh my god! All right, we're gonna go fifty thousand fathoms. Arr! Now they call it the abyss, but crikey, it is deeper than deep. Um. Deeper! I don't see any stairs or a ladder or anything. How are we supposed to get down there? <laughs> we have our ways. We jump! <laughs> the Puffer Welk will see us safely down. Puffer Welk? Or did I say that? Ooh, uh, five silver nuggets! Hmm. Should we destroy his cor coral easily enough? <laughs> Again? Oh, I can't! Boom! Oh, it even gives me a piece of bonsai coral. I am counting I've always on wanted to grow my grow my own bonsai coral. Boom! Boom. <laughs> so it's called a puffer whelk, you say? Ah! I can see why. It's puffing out water like nobody's business. If I may be so bold, we will need to help the help of your higgledies and of a certain spell. Evan, if you be so kind as to face me, give me your power! Ah! <laughs> Oh, you're just gonna let him have me do it, okay. Learn the water slide spell. It'll be easier to just demonstrate its effect than to explain it. Here, just have it! Ah! It's a lot easier to learn spells in this game than the last game. Could you cast a spell on the shell, please? Okay. Golly! Golly! The water is flowing so much faster now! Yes. Indeed. Temps times faster, in fact. Fast enough to create a waterway which can be ridden all the way to the bottom. Sh shall we? <laughs> Wait, really? We're gonna like, how's that not going to kill us? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, oh! <laughs> ah! Oh my god, I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> it's like some kind of fairground ride. Oh, the yes. afterlife sure is great. <laughs> Let's continue this manner all the way to the bottom. <laughs> Holy snikes, that was crazy! Oh. <laughs> That's cool. I'm surfing on a water stream, drumming on a street. <laughs> Alright, away! Uh, uh, <laughs> Wee! Ha! Hua! Teleporting to Ami! Look what I can do! Ha! <laughs> I am the power! Behind! Oh, I see. I say I get over this area. Whoa. And we got treasure. A damp flat flutter bee baton. It's pretty good. Just slightly less than. 
Less powerful than what I have. All right, gotta head even deeper. Whoa! Woo! Yep! Yeah, oh, I see Higgledy's statue as well as a treasure chest. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Pair of barproof sea breeze sandals. All right, we got ourselves a little Higgledy statue. What do you want, little guy? Uh, it's talking about the buttons, the chirpy, cheerful little numbers. Chirpy, cheerful. Uh, okay, so either the springtime or the bright ones. Yes. Got you a little bit. Oh my God, he's got a stick on his head. Haddock the fishy. Yo, those don't even start with the same letter. And this supposed to be like Haddock the the Harrier. Finley the fishy, or Barry the botanist. Okay. We got do it, do it. Uh, call for when a Higgledy skill is triggered, others will call for theirs to be used. Uh, hunker, hunker, slide increase an ally's physical defense. Uh, Higgledy drip, create a energy field that boosts resistance to water attacks and makes the player more resistant when to water when awakened. Okay, nothing terribly spectacular there. Uh, oh. Wow. Come a long way, but looks like there's still some way to go. We still got ways to go. Uh, Evan. Sorry, I don't know where that came from. It was so odd. Ooh, a great sword. This sword's great. Oh, here we go. 1,500 fathoms deep, trip door. All right. There's another chest, and it's got a Punisher's Ring. Slide boost critical hit damage. Okay, that is, okay, I suppose. Uh, oh. oh man, still going, fuck. This is a rather long dungeon. Sincerely hope that her is unharmed. I wonder, do, do spells over time start to ca cost less and less MP? Because I could have sworn this cost four at one point. I, I might just be misremembering, but... God, there's so many ways to go. Seriously. I mean, the game tells you exactly where you need to go. But there's so many branching paths, too, that are leading to uh, treasure chests and... Hey, hang on the statues and other hoodly doodlies. Oh, holy shit. Starfall sword. It's actually pretty strong. It's been a rare drop. Can go call, far calling this place. Oh my god. There's one down there. Oh my god, it's getting fucking confusing. Oh well, it takes all the way to the bottom. Come on. What are we waiting for? Come on. Man, seriously, this is a, it's starting to get a bit confusing. A labyrinth of pucker well. Puffer, pucker, blah, blah, blah. Oh, songbook number 15. 3,000 fathoms deep trip door. Oh my god, yes! Forley Sorwag! Go save that little pirate dude now! Nah, too late, me dead. Uh, no, I'm talking about them shells, the ones that make the sea glow all red at night. Glow all red at night. Uh, oh shit. Yeah, I, I don't get it. I don't have any red shells. Oh, buy a piece of jade coral. Okay, here we go. Let's try to figure out how to get to this goddamn chest. Uh, anti nixing bone mail. Alright. Who we? So we got kinda surprisingly confusing. Initially it seemed like, ah, oh, this is no problem. Easy peasy. And I was like, oh no, this is starting to get a little complicated. Uh, we have reached uh, the bottom. Oh, yep. Demon Lord! She's already evil! Uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, he's already stolen her bond. God damn it. That didn't take long. Well, put up a fight, lady! Your Majesty, it is I, Leander! Please! You must come to your senses! Is that Matthew Mercer? It is too late for that, I'm afraid. Your queen is gone. Henceforth, she shall be my puppet. Nothing more. You will return her to me, now! Hmm, tell me, why do you even care? Her people think little of her. She is powerless, weak, unloved. Hydropolis would be nothing without its queen. And why is that? Even were I inclined to tell you, you would not understand. Ha <laughs> ha! So be it! 
then I would ask that you do as your queen did and surrender your feeble spirit to me. I surrender to none but her majesty! Leander? Oh, is she coming around? <laughs> this has gone on long enough. Oh dear. Here comes Bryn, Bryn, something or other. Your Big ass water demon is doomed. Doomed. But their beauty never lasts. Ah, fuck me. <laughs> ah! Bryn Skimmer, then the King's Bond truly is broken. You heard the man, Evan. No king's bond, meaning we've got ourselves a kingmaker to clobber. That's right. Let's murder his ass. Ah! Oh god, here we go, guys. It's time. Blah, Brian Skimmer. Wavebreaker, Keen Break Maker. Let's do it. Your judgment is nigh. Your judgment is nigh. Oh my guys, all 42. Fuck. Hey, back here. Weak spots where? Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh my God, how am I supposed to hit that? Oh, okay, now he's staying still. Yes, yes. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, die! Ah, bird! Ah, oh, he's pissed off. Fuck! Uh. Oh, what the hell? He's supposed to kind of force feel around himself. Ah, oh, fuck! What do I do? Oh, wait! Oh my God! Higmakers! Yes! I need more. More! Give it to me! Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Still enough more! Oh god! Oh god! Ah! Oh god! Okay, they're ready. Uh, uh, come on, you little buggers! Give me the power! Tiny. That's nice bear suit. Fire at will. Oh, okay, I'm aiming. Oh, break it! Uh, yeah! Boom! Okay, get your ass down here. Aim for that weak spot. Aim for that weak spot, baby. Come on, baby. Yes. 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 Ah! Ah, I got him. Get down here. Ah, now there's one on his tummy. There we go. Ah! Get down here. I don't land on top of me, you prick! Ugh, come on, give me that power! Here we go! Take the- Ugh! 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 It seals back in! It's fine! Blow it apart! Roland, don't get frozen! There's no time to be frozen! Hit his stomach, hit his stomach! And his wings, god damn it! Ah, ah, ah. Just die, you piece of shit! No! Ah, I got it! Boom! Your kingmaker's nothing compared to my little funny lofty! Should have thrown more glowy balls! <sighs> Your Majesty, you're not hurt in any way. Hm. I'm fine, Leander. Cease your fussing. <laughs> not one, but two kingmakers have now fallen at your hand. Impressive. But it matters little. I have what I came for. Until we meet again. Blah! Goddamn stick, dude!
She's dead! Hey. Your loyalty to the Queen is re really is something, Leander. Of course. It's no more than she deserves. Without her, our nation would be nothing! Uh -huh. Nothing! So you keep saying. What do you mean by that exactly? Very well. Perhaps this time you know the truth. The palace in which you now stand was destroyed some 300 years ago, along with the rest of Hydropolis. What? A great undersea volcano erupted, taking our nation and all of its people with it. Wow. You saw the ruins in Lucipi's Labyrinth. These two were once inhabited by our people. Ooh. Our kingdom's continued existence is thanks solely to Queen Naria's in intervention and the big great eyeball in the sky. It is her gaze that protects us. Her magic channeled through the great wa watchful power of the eye that turns back time to save us again and again. Oh. We're not for Queen Naria in the eye. We would have faded into obscurity long ago. Oh, what? The eye is turning back time every time like shit happens to us? There's one great problem with this method of survival. If the number of living souls in Hydropolis were to change, the great enchantment that Her Majesty has woven would no longer hold. Oh. Hmm. So that's what all the laws are about. Oh. One more life for one less, and it all comes tumbling down, eh? Oh, I see. That's why you can't have... Can't fall in love, so you can't have children, right, probably. But you're also trying to prevent any kind of death. But what about, I guess, tourists don't count as long as they're just not living here? The Queen has maintained her vigil for thir three centuries, never knowing a moment's sleep. I see. That's cool. It's a nice little twist they added to that, though. You two would be short of temper. You two would vent your frustrations on those around you and step on them with their high heels. But all that she has done, she has done for us. Well, she is sacrificed. She sacrificed for her beloved subjects. How? Oh. Leander, you... you knew. Ah! Where did you come from? Ah! <sighs> Your Majesty! You are unharmed, I hope. You did. You knew all along. Yes. Yes. And so I vowed to serve you. No matter what. Hmm. I see. But the cracks are beginning to show at last. I fear that our droplets does not have long. Yes. Indeed. That's why uh -huh. we need the ether. It is. Do you remember, Leander? The promise we made to one another as children. Of course. I do, Your Majesty. I remember when I was a little baby, Leander. Ah! One day, Leander. One day, we will marry. And you will be my king. We will rule together. Promise me. Uh. I promise. I promise that I will marry you. That I will always protect you. That I will never leave your side. Ah. Do you swear it? On your life? I do, your majesty. I do. Holy Ander. I love you. How could I forget? It is my most cherished memory. And the reason I gave my life to you in service. But that was not what I asked of you. I asked that you become my husband. My king. But the law of Hydropolis forbids it. I could not become king. I cannot. Do not pretend, Leander. You know. You know better than any man of this realm. Whosoever possesses the ether possesses the right to rule. It was the first king of Hydropolis who brought it back with him, and with it claimed his crown. But surely one such as I cannot... Who better? Who else has guarded this realm more vigilantly? Cared for it more faithfully? As queen, I can accept no other. You must marry me. I command you. And make many, many little fishy babies with me. But your majesty, I cannot. Why? For the sake of the kingdom? 
the hallowed realm over which we have watched for so long. If we are joined in marriage, then all must end. Time cannot repeat itself. Hydropolis must fade. Yes, and I cannot allow that to happen. Let go, Leander. I don't really understand. Why? I mean, isn't it possible for them to marry and not have children? Why, why, why does... As long as there's not an extra life in there, right? I mean, right? I'm not really sure. This realm may fade, but another will soon blossom in its place. New life. A new kingdom. It should have happened long ago. But I could not let it. I had to have one last day by your side. Again and again. Aw. Your Majesty. But it is time at last. I am ready, Leander. The wheel must turn again for Hydropolis. And if it brings our destruction, then so be it. It also brings truth. Your mind is made up then? It is. So come, take your place by my side. Be my husband, my king. I will. Is this place just gonna like disappear or something? What? <laughs> the preparations for our union will begin at once, but you need not remain to oversee them. I hereby release you from your duties. You are free. These travelers have need of your aid. Go with them. Forget the concerns of our kingdom for a time. Truly. Truly. Thank you, your majesty. Damn, so then he's gonna come back and... I, I'm, a little, I'm a little confused by the mechanics of this. So, is, come back and they'll get married and then the kingdom will vanish and so will they? Because they're not, they're all should be dead by this point. Leander joins the party permanently at Leander. Yeah, all right, cool. I think I might, might keep him on my team. I think he's pretty, he's pretty powerful. Thank you. You've done much to aid us. My word is my bond. Your pact shall be signed. Speak with me when you are ready to proceed with the formalities. Fuck yeah. Oh, I learned floodlight. Summons the power of light to protect all allies from physical and magical attacks. What? Seriously? There's a regular and a powered up version of it. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. Very well, let's just begin. So guys, hand me the declaration. I mean, if you're gonna if your king's gonna fade away, is there even a point to doing this? I'm Let our nations be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. United we stand as one single land. Or maybe it just means that the kingdom won't be safe. Like from this point forward, we'll, they'll be at risk, right? The magic will—we won't be able to go back in time. Maybe, maybe that's what it means, and it, not that it will disappear. The pact is sealed. Our nations stand together. And now I must bid you farewell. Pray, take care of my betrothed until his return. We will. That is, assuming you're still happy to join us, Leander. Of course. I only hope that I may be of use. I'm sure you <laughs> will be. <laughs> look, at, look how happy Lofty is. Evan had freed Queen Naria from Doloran's wicked clutches. And for his troubles, he had succeeded in adding another nation to his burgeoning union. With it came a great asset, Leander, whose wisdom would surely prove vital in Evermore's continued development. Cool. Okay, I have a feeling this little kid here, he's going to end up being Ferdinand, isn't A it? country where love is forbidden. How strange. Yes, but I learned something there. I learned how fiercely a leader can long to protect their nation, and how much they can sacrifice for it. The queen was prepared to devote her whole life to her kingdom, and for no one ever to know. I'm glad I met her. And Leander. Yeah, that was a that was a cool little story arc. I'm really enjoying these like 
these different settings and the stories surrounding them, they've all been very interesting, very engaging. <laughs> well, there's still a way to go, and still an awful lot to learn. Looks like based on the little emblems there, it looks like there's two more kingdoms I have left to make packs with. Yes, I know. I've really only just begun. I'm only level two on my kingdom. In order to grow, we must first realize how small we are. <laughs> it's going to be fun watching you grow into your older, wiser self. Huh? What do you mean? You're gonna turn into a big boy, kitty. You're too busy building your kingdom to notice anything else, aren't you? All right. I'll see you soon, Evan. Uh, yes. See you soon. Wonderful. We'll see what Evan looks like when he's it's all grown up. A matter of time. Yeah, you guys can help explain to me. I don't. I don't know if I totally understand the whole mechanics behind that uh, that uh, spell of hers or something. Is it just going to disappear? If there's, if it just means after we've joined Union, and why again would that break the spell? I don't really understand how that would add a new life or take away a life or something. I don't know. But anyway, guys, this seems like a good place to end things here for now. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite, and subscribe if you're not already become Picky Penguin. For this LP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Ooh, this is cool. I'm really enjoying this, and I, I like the I liked Leander. I, I found he was fun to control, and uh, I don't know. He seems like a cool character. I look forward to getting to know him better. I can also sort of see him being a bit of a of a of a fan favorite, possibly just like Roland is. I don't know. He's definitely got that potential. But anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.